My name is Tim McDonald, and uh, I'm a, a test pilot for the United States Air Force. Um, I teach new test pilots at the Air Force Test Pilot School. Uh, I have degrees in um, astronautical engineering and uh, a master's in mechanical engineering. Uh, and uh, space has always uh, fascinated me. Um, I have a good number of friends that have become astronauts. I've tried several times myself. Astronomy and becoming an amateur astronomer is always something that I've wanted to, to do and get into, and I, I started several years ago. Uh, probably my favorite picture that I've ever taken is the galaxy which is nearest to us. It's gigantic, uh, over one trillion stars, and it's called M31, or the Andromeda Galaxy. Another category of object uh, which is really spectacular are these huge uh, clouds in space of hydrogen gas. And uh, the nearby stars that are embedded within these clouds of gas emit ultraviolet radiation and it causes the gas to glow, uh, not unlike uh, the way a fluorescent light in the ceiling of a classroom glows. Um, but it's this deep, vibrant red color. It's just beautiful. And what has always fascinated me about space, I think is, a, is an interest that a lot of people have, a lot of people share, and that is just the sense of awe and wonder about God's creation. Uh, when you try to take in the vastness of the universe and uh, the size of it, uh, the wonders of it, it, it pretty much blows my mind. I just recently sh uh, shot an object uh, called a globular cluster, a few hundred thousand stars that gravity pulls into a, what looks like kind of almost like a snowball of stars in space. And uh, so one day I, I tried to do the math just to try to get my mind around the size of this little ball of stars. And I said, okay, let's say that we get into a car and we're gonna floor, we're gonna floor it. We're gonna go 100 miles an hour, right? And we're gonna do that 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, never stopping. How long, I wanted to know how long it would take to drive from one side of this ball of stars to the other at that speed without ever stopping. And it turns out it's 16 million consecutive human lifetimes. If we zoom out away from M13, this little ball of stars, so that we can take in all of the galaxy all at once, M13 is too small to even see. And that's just one example. That's one galaxy in a universe full of hundreds of billions of them. The Hubble Space Telescope has tried to look out to the edges of the universe. And no matter how deep we look with it, we cannot find the end of it. So far, it appears to go on forever. The heavens declare the handiwork of God and, 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 and manifest his glory to us, right? The, the, the apparent infinite size of the universe is to give us just a small little glimpse of God's power of God's creative glory and majesty. As much as the universe and the wonders in the universe declare God's glory to us as we look at them through a telescope, so much more are we as vastly more important created beings. Uh, so much more must we glorify God as well. That is why we were ultimately created. That is the purpose. If you could sum it all up, Everything that we find in God's word, our purpose here is to, is to bring glory to God. And as much power as we see in the universe to create galaxies and nebula that are incomprehensibly large, there is a far greater and more important power available to every one of us on a daily basis. When we look into God's word, we are latching onto the mind of God. The ultimate act of power in my mind is not to be found really in the universe, as amazing as that all is. It's to be found in a regenerated heart, a regenerated or re a renewed mind. That is the real miracle. And when we allow the Holy Spirit to regenerate us, and when we are renewed day by day, by prayer, by studying God's word, by seeking his will. The miracle of a life 
that reflects glory back to God becomes a reality. There's nothing in space that compares to that. <laughs>